To find the answer, Lori Santos is taking us to a unique place, Monkey Island, off the coast of Puerto Rico. All of the island's 1,200 residents are members of the same species, Macaca mulata, rhesus monkeys. But the monkeys have divided themselves into six rival groups. And just like human beings, monkeys have the ability to almost instantly, on autopilot, identify which monkey is a member of their group. In the eyes of the monkeys, that's an us to be trusted. Every other monkey is a them to be feared or attacked. So what we're seeing right now is a monkey feeding kraal. This is a spot where they get their main food on the island, which is monkey chow. One of the bigger groups on the island is in the corral right now, and one of the smaller groups is coming up and trying to make the decision of whether or not to go in. And there's a lot at stake. There are moms holding their babies right. whose babies could get into a fray if they make the wrong decision. Right. Um, there are little kids who don't have support. And look, look at what we're seeing right now. This right. is one group charging in. The group in there has to make a split decision, like, are they going to run out or right. are they going to hang out in there? Is there enough of my crowd here? To back me up right. if, if bad things happen. Even here over the chaos here, they're trying to go in and you see this other big group running out right wow. here. Lots of screaming and the screaming is in part because, you know, this is a dangerous time for the monkeys. Right. Of course, our autopilot system is much more sophisticated than that of these monkeys. But according to Santos, that simply enables us to think even more in terms of us versus them than these monkeys can. We are constantly making decisions based on language. You know, we use labels for who's in our group. We have words for different race individuals, different genders. You know, I'm wearing my Yale cap here, signaling which university I'm from. Right, and, and I have my donut shop hat on, so that's right. We're, you and I <laughs> are of different strata. Yeah. Um, but we use markers all the time. We call ourselves American. We call ourselves white or black. We call ourselves gay or straight. I'm not talking to folks when I'm walking around a city to ask them, oh, which group are you in? But I quickly know who's of a different gender, who's of a different race. I'm picking up on those distinctions incredibly fast. So it's not an accident that we humans tend to see the world through the lens of our us versus them biases. It's an ancient autopilot instinct. And that's why, as numerous studies have shown, we're most likely to believe disinformation that triggers primal emotions, like fear and anger toward another group of human beings. 